All right, let's address that. Yes, the microphone is clipped to my hair because I'm too lazy to hold it, and it's literally the cheapest microphone on Amazon, so I have to have it super close to my mouth for you guys to hear anything. Hi, friends. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Kate. I run a small clothing brand called Mini Groove Studios. I knit crochet, so check me out on Instagram if you want to, and make sure you subscribe down below because I post tutorials and process videos here on YouTube. Today, we're just going to chill on my couch, and I'm going to show you guys everything that I've made this year so far. So, it is March of 2023, so this will be January through March. I posted an everything that I made in 2022 video. I'll link it above if you want to watch it. People seem to really like those kind of videos. I love making them and I love watching other people's. So I thought that we would split it up a little bit and do it by like quarters, I guess. So it goes a little bit more with the seasons. But yeah, let's just hang out and I'll show you everything that I've made so far. I once again have my laptop here to reference photos because I don't have all of the physical pieces with me because some of the pieces are off to new homes. So I can reference some photos and I'll put them up on the screen so you guys can see them. So let's start in January. The first thing that I made, I actually made a video on, I made this skirt. This is my first wearable sewing project. It just has two pleats in the front and then some elastic in the back. Like I just said, this was my first sewing project. So it has split a little bit on the seam here. I must have not backstitched or something, but I'm, it's a really easy fix. I'm just too lazy to fix it, but I actually wear this all the time. I'll insert like an outfit photo if you guys want to see. It looks really nice with tights, but I can also continue to wear it throughout the summer. And yeah, this was made from a bed sheet and I still have a lot more fabric, so I might make like a midi or maxi version of it. I pretty much document everything here on YouTube, so you guys have probably seen most, if not all of these pieces if you watch my other videos, but if you're new here, I'll show you guys. The next piece I made for my first tutorial that I ever posted on YouTube, and it's just this striped raglan sweater. You can make the same exact sweater. I'll link the video above. Sometimes I like forget about the things I've made, so I actually haven't worn this in kind of a while, I guess. But I just added this sorry silk bow. And I like to add fabric scrap bows to all my clothing now. As you can see, I have one on my shirt now. I love this sweater so much. I'll insert some try-on clips. And you guys tag me in pictures and send me pictures of your raglans all the time. And that makes me so happy. I love seeing what you guys do with the guide and like how flexible you guys are with it. So that's really all that I made in January. I didn't make that many things in January. We're moving on to February. February was a month of berets. I made a ton of berets. I'll insert a photo of all of them. I did sell some on my website where I like sewed the tags in and everything. I am probably going to do a tutorial on these berets pretty soon if you guys want that. Just let me know down below. This is the first one. It has like a ton of different fibers. I'll put try on pictures of all of these too. These ones are like tri-colored. So this is like a gray, lavender, and red. This one's green, cream, and black. And then these two are just solid ones like black and brown. Um, this one's a little bit more special because it's made with sorry silk and it's so soft and it fits a little bit different because it's lighter than the other ones these are all the ones that i have on me right now i also made a cream one a brown green and blue one and then also a custom one that was red and purple that's all the berets and then i finally got on my sewing machine again and made a few sewing projects so the first one is this tote bag from this organza material working with this as a beginner is very frustrating i would definitely recommend starting with like cotton or something i just really love this fabric so i was like you're never going to learn if you don't try. So I did French seams to encase the edging. And then I did this like box stitch that didn't really turn out great. But honestly, it's been holding up. I use this all the time. And the only sign of wear is there's like a little tiny, tiny tear in the corner there. So I just need to reinforce it a bit. But all the other ones look really good. I don't put anything super heavy or sharp in it. I usually just put my fabric from the scrap exchange in it. So keep that in mind. And then I also made a matching scrunchie. And this has an inner part too, so you can't see the elastic. I made a lot of scrunchies, as you will see. Then I worked on a few more custom orders. I made 
three custom beanies a brown and blue one blue and pink one and then one with custom text that was like this mustard and orange color honestly all of those colors like when i photographed them all together like i thought it looked so good yeah that was kind of the last of my custom beanies of the year because it's like starting to warm up now i did really like making those and i'm definitely gonna bring those back next winter it was like one of my first designs i really like those block letter beanies so look out for them later this year if i bring them back it's kind of fun that you guys get to watch my sewing progression because <laughs> I just started at the beginning of this year. So the next thing I made was this top. Very messy. I think with this one, I wanted to practice the gathering because I've never done that before. Sewed it on the wrong way, as you can see, but I kind of made it work. I just zigzag stitched it so it could like naturally fray itself. This was kind of just supposed to be like a baby doll. And then it ties up in the back and it has this little red rose. It didn't turn out how I thought it was going to. I'll put some styling photos for you guys. I actually really like this one. Kind of like see-through, but it's double lined on top. Just more practice ironing and stuff. Very messy, but wearable for sure. Then I made some Valentine's Day gifts for my friends. You can see all of these in the last minute gift guide. They're all tutorials for how to make these. I made little heart granny squares. I made a crocheted plant holder. Isn't she a cutie? This is reminding me I need to make another one of these. I have some of that like t-shirt yarn, so I want to make one with that kind of yarn too. This one's blue and white, and then the one I made for my friend was pink and orange. And then I made another organza tote that was purple, but that fabric was thinner, so it was even harder to work with than the pink stuff. And then just a bunch of scrunchies, because I like making scrunchies. They're a lot of fun. More scrunchies yellow gingham this one's like a green this one's like a grid they don't take up that much fabric i grab a lot of scraps from the scrap exchange so that's what i've been doing with the smaller scraps and then for the knit project i'm actually sitting on this pillow right now but i thought it turned out really messy i was kind of embarrassed to send it so i just kept it <laughs> it looks really nice on the couch then this one is one of my favorites it's made from a lace curtain it's just a little baby doll and it has like this decorative hem so i didn't even need to hem it I traced and modified a pattern from an American Apparel baby doll dress and then I just added little bows on top there. I wear it more than most of my pieces that I've made. I always layer it and stuff and I just really like this one. One of my favorites. Next is this navy skirt. I made a video of me making this. I'll link it once again. I pretty much show you guys everything that I make on YouTube, but this video is just compiling everything. You guys might have seen this already. I just used some secondhand fabric for the bow. This is reminding me that I need to give this more love because I haven't worn it in a while, actually. Especially because it's getting warmer now. I can kind of wear it with different things. Here are some styling photos. If you're stuck on how to style crochet pieces or see-through pieces even, maybe that'll give you some inspo. It's actually made with thrifted Barocco vintage yarn that I found at the Scrap Exchange for $3 a hank. And I have two more hanks of this yarn left that I'm giving away. And then my freaking earmuffs. I love these things. This is a pattern from Expression L, one of my fiber art friends here on the internet. I'll link the pattern down below. Here's some pictures. I freaking love these things, but now it's warm, so I haven't worn them. Hopefully there'll be another cold front so I can show these bad boys off. And I used just a ton of different yarn for these. Let's take a break. <laughs> Comment down below your favorite thing that you've made this year. Knit, crochet, or sew, or anything. I wanna know. It's been kind of like cloudy all day, which I haven't even been outside today. This is everything that I made for my spring collection. Another video I'll link above. I'll go through them pretty quick because I kind of talked through them in that video. This little tube top looks like a skirt kind of. This is made from a curtain. It has a specific name, those curtains that are only at the top of your window. It starts with a V, I think. I'll put it on the screen. It has a sheer lining underneath, and then I added the little bow. And this is how it looks like on next are these two baby doll tops i use the same pattern that i traced for that lace top that i showed earlier this one is a little floral pattern and it just opens up and has this lace trim on the side and then this one is red polka dots and it just drapes really nicely this one doesn't look great on the hanger so i'll just put the crown photos Kind of a similar style to the black top that I showed earlier. I love this skirt so much. It's just a two-tiered skirt. Same fabric as that lace top with an elastic waist. It's just a very simple midi skirt that's see-through. The see-through lace is super popular. I really want to keep this one for myself, but we'll see. And then this floral strapless dress. This is made from a bed skirt. It had this ruffle already on there, and then it just ties in the back so it kind of forms to your body the same kind of style but i marketed this as a skirt and then i just have the bow here 
but you can detach the bow and then like loop it through the back and stuff. Then I randomly just got super into the shell stitch. So I made this top with this golden mohair that was secondhand and this little pink bow. I'm gonna make more things in this stitch. And I actually did. I made a white top that ties on the side. And this is like a cotton. This would be perfect for like a cover up in the summer. And then I'm just gonna say it. I think this is my favorite thing that I've made this year, especially because it was me like trying a new stitch. I'm obsessed with this color and this yarn. It's a drop stitch cap sleeve top that is in the raglan style. I finished this a few days ago, but I'm definitely gonna make more of these because I love it. I don't know if it's the yarn though. I don't know if I just love it because the yarn. I think that is everything that I made this year so far in 2023. January through March. The next video, I think I'll do probably April through June, but I'm so excited to make more things. I actually have a market, my first in-person market in April. I'll document it, of course, for YouTube. I think April especially will be full of making things. I kind of had a slow start to the year, but now my productivity is picking up a little bit. I think just with the changing of the seasons and the weather warming up, it definitely helps me be a lot more inspired, a lot more productive. I'm excited to be on this earth so that I can make things and share them with you guys. And I'm down to make tutorials for any of these pieces. Just let me know in the comments. I'd totally be down to do it. Just be a little patient with me. But yeah, comment down below what your favorite piece was because I'm curious. Check out my Instagram to keep up with what I'm making at minigoo.studios and make sure you subscribe so we can hang out and make things together. If you enjoyed this video or got any inspiration, make sure you give it a like. It really helps me out and lets me know that I should keep making videos for you guys. So thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.